Hi, my name is Noemi Alcote, and I am here painting at the Corman Galleries. I want to show you how I do my colors and choose my colors. You see, everything is yellow right now, and that's an undertone color. So wherever I don't put my final paint on, that yellow will pop out. So imagine if I had left it white, it would be the white canvas. So I'd rather have some colors for some mood. And this painting is for spring. And this is where I chose a lot of um, pinks, purples, little Easter colors. Um, this one is a very red color. It's a magenta, it's a little pink. It's kind of a hot pink but underneath it. I have it here too. So if you look closely, you'll see it. Which is nice, these paintings, the larger they are, um, the, better, the better they're viewed further away, have a bit of distance. But I really do enjoy coming close up and seeing all the texture and seeing, see this pink there? That's the undertone color. I typically do magenta, but for spring I want to brighten it up, a little freshness, a little yellow, a little orange. I did some undertone orange here. I went orange into yellow. I have orange and yellows in the, the vineyard there. So you can play, sometimes it's green. I haven't done blue yet, I'll try that. The scenes that I choose, um, I typically go and do some hikes. I really enjoy being in nature. Nature really does something for me and that's why I like the subject of nature. It really grounds me, it brings, kind of aligns me with my purpose. So I do like to go out and take photos. Um, I always work from a photo, which is very convenient because I do work from the studio. If you notice, I have some bright colors. So the process of choos choosing colors is something really, really fun. I don't paint the typical colors of the photo, the real colors. I creatively choose colors to create a mood or a feeling that I want to, to bring out of the painting. So for a spring, painting like this one is going to be a lot of like fresh and soft inspirational colors and a bit of pop and boldness because to get the move on in spring and I create a mock-up on my computer because I have a graphic design background and I, it's just a really fast tool for me I had to take a photo of my painting that I pre ink paint and then I go in Photoshop and I add all the colors and make sure it's beautiful next is I create all the actual paint palette. So I pre-mix all my colors. So let's say last night, I pre-mixed all these colors. So when I am painting, I'm in the flow. I don't have to stop and mix, and it's just easier that way. When I lived in Africa, I was a French Canadian, purely French, went to an English country. So I was very isolated, and I really went into art. Kind of a way of therapy, a way to just deal with it all and I found some really pretty good talent there. I was drawing the rose bushes and, and my, my dad saw it, got me to art school and from then on I've always done arts and now painting's my baby. So this is my medium and I absolutely love it. I discovered the oil paint two, year, two three years ago and it's just so nice, the texture, so buttery, just has a shine to it, the color is vibrant. It's just a, a medium that I really fell in love with. So in Africa, and it's very different, right, from, from the landscapes here in Canada. Uh, there in the southern part, it's very dry, the summers are long, the earth is red, the, the sunrises are amazing. So there's not a lot of drastic change besides the rainfalls. And, but in Canada, we have four clear seasons. And our maple trees, how the colors change in fall. Like, fantastic and the evergreens are always there the pine trees are always there and sturdy and, and beautifully green fresh throughout all the year i love like i am in love with white pine trees which is a very ontario tree um, i love them so much for their personality they have some branches that are long some are short they can be gnarly a little bit you know they're not stiff sometimes they look like they're dancing i just love them so i love pine trees i love to have something tall and a view further away. I like to take the viewer, go a little bit deeper. Uh, for example, in this painting, you have a foreground. So I like the foreground, middle ground, and far ground. So I typically have 
flowers or, or close-up grasses um, and some big trees that bring your eyes up into the view of typically we would have lakes and rivers and water because it's a very typically beautiful relaxing scene in Canada and then some mountains. I absolutely love mountains. But I really do enjoy having fun in the skies because it's the most freedom I have in the painting where, you know, any way you do a cloud, it kind of looks like a cloud because clouds can look so many different ways, uh, different shapes. And I remember painting where I was just really enjoying the long movements and I was literally dancing with my paintbrush. So this is how this happened. So a little bit of uh, looseness in the clouds. I didn't know I wanted to do it darker. I tend to go a little darker on the edges to frame the painting without an actual frame to keep your eyes, your eyes in. With my graphic design background, it's visual. It's all visual, right? But just being in fine arts and graphic design my whole life, merged together, it's all creativity. It's just different tools, different mediums. I'm just way more creative and free with the paintbrush. I think ultimately I like the looseness of the brush strokes where it's not detailed. It helps me keep the flow of movement. Um, there is lots of movement in my paint strokes and that's kind of who I am. I go with the flow and in general with, as a personality. I am not a perfectionist. I don't spend too long on a little detail. I like to go with the flow and keep the flow moving. Having my colors premixed, I, then I don't have to blend. I don't want to blend, it's, it's on purpose. The colors are, are pre-mixed, they're pre-decided for a specific place. And I find the place. I do move things around. I might choose a different, slightly different color that I've pre-mixed, but it is on purpose. And I like to have a bit of that undercolor, undertone color coming out. I can tell you my steps. The first step is a photo. Second step is sketching. So sketching on the paper, figure out the composition, what works, what doesn't work, what size canvas would, you know, would work. Sketch on the canvas. And then I do Indian ink. So it's liquidy black ink. And I paint with it. And this is what you see here. All that is Indian ink. And that's one of the most freeing uh, steps of the process because I know I'm painting over. So I can really be free and have the movement. And that's, I think, what helps bring out the movement of the branches and trees and everything else because I, I know I can correct it if need be. And then I'll put the undertone color, this one's yellow, and then I'll take a photo and figure out the color combinations on my computer. And then I'll pre-mix the colors as you see there, and ta-da, I get to paint now. So there's quite a few steps. It works for me. You gotta find what works for you. Having the computer as a tool, uh, I use Photoshop, but I'm sure these other apps can be used it is a, a very relaxed and playful because it's all done in layers. I can remove a layer, erase, put an eraser, put more colors. So it's, it's, a, it's a playground. It's the place to play and find the right balance of colors and to make sure that it, it brings out what I'm looking for. My name is Noemi Alcote and this is my art. Mm -hmm.